Let's get started with step number one, which is cloning your voice. So this is obviously the foundational feature of clone voice. How you're going to use the application is you will go in here and this feature will be located on the top like so, and you just click on the clone voice button on top. And then you'll see a button that looks right here. Like you see here in the bottom, choose instant. So you're just going to click on that. And then once you go into the next step, you're going to have these options. Option number one is record with microphone. As you can see here, this is basically where you can just hit this button and record uh, of your voice, just like I'm doing right now, and then have a clone. Or option number two is upload a file like you see here. This is where you can upload in file formats that you see MP3, wave file and the OGG file type. Now, it says max file size is 10 megabytes. Uh, the idea is, I, I know it sounds like a small uh, file size, but the idea is that only 15 seconds of your voice is good enough. Yes, 15 seconds is good enough to generate a voice clone. And it's one of those few cases where actually less is more. The reason why is when we are cloning the voice, we just need just your voice tonality and just enough information. Once it goes beyond 15, let's say it goes to a minute, two minutes and that sort of thing, it's actually worse than better. Okay, so let's begin with the first function if you want to record with your microphone. This depends on the quality of your microphone and also the browser that you're using and that sort of thing. Uh, generally speaking, uploading your file would work better if you have a different type of microphone or an audio file that you've in, done in a higher quality and that sort of thing. But this is also fine if you have a good quality microphone and uh, you know, you're comfortable enough to speak on the fly. So for example, you just start speaking. If you want to read a script and that sort of thing, it's a little bit easier to just do it separately in another application where you can record the audio that 15, 20 seconds and you can then upload that file. Okay, so in this particular case, let's try record from microphone. So let's click on that. It's going to ask you like, so do you want to allow uh, while visiting this website? Click on that. Hi there, this is Paul and I am recording my voice here and I'm going to record about 15 seconds of my voice to show you a real example of how much you need to record for clonevoice.ai. All right, I'm done. So you see that it gave me a recording and a file type. And then it says file is uploaded successfully. So basically we've, you're done here. Now, the next thing is you want to give a name. So let's say I want to give Paul a uh, voice and uh, in a recording, let's say for example, okay? And then language is English. So let's say for example, if I were to record it in another language, so let's say for example, Spanish, I would speak in Spanish and record it there for better quality. Okay. We've done multiple tests on this. So for cloning of a voice in particular, you will uh, basically want to use and record in your language. So let me explain that again. In this particular case, since I picked English, I would pick English as the language. Okay. So then I would do the next step, which is gender. So in this particular case, male or female, the reason why I want to give this is because when we are cloning the voice, we want to make sure we have as much information as possible for our actual algorithm behind the scenes to train on your voice behind the scenes. And the more information we get, the better the quality is. Although it is instant. Okay. In other words, it takes just a few seconds to do all that training and processing behind the scenes to clone your voice. Still, the more information we have, the better it is. So once you're done, just click on this button right here. It says clone voice and you're done. All right. So now let's see here. So there we go. See, as it sees here, Paul's voice in app recording is completed. Okay. So now let me, before I go to the next step, I want to talk about multilingual voice cloning. All right. So, uh, let me talk about that. So let's go back again to clone voice, the top uh, option right here. Let's go back to choose instance. So let's say, for example, I'm going to do it in another language. Okay. So let's say it's Spanish or whatever it might be. So 
In that particular case, what I would do is, let's say uh, it's a multilingual, right? So let's say I want to clone my voice in Spanish, okay? As an example, uh, we support about 70 plus languages right now. So I'm just going to show you one of them. Of course, you can check from the 70 languages that we support. And of course, if maybe if something is off in your languages, let us know uh, in our support team. And then uh, we'll be happy to make it better because we just need more information. Maybe we did not have as much uh, testing that we've done in one of the 70. Okay, we've tested it as many as we could, but maybe we missed a couple of things here and there. You can let us know. But overall, support 70 plus languages. If you want your voice to be added, you can let us know as well. Uh, we'll be happy to add that in, in that language if that is something that you uh, request uh, to our support team. Anyway, so let's say this is Spanish. So what you want to do is, again, same logic. Record with microphone if you want to do it with your microphone. And of course, upload your file. So in this particular case, I'll just speak in Spanish, okay? All right, just a fair warning. My Spanish is pretty bad. I'm still learning it. This is just for test purposes only. Again, for those who are fluent speakers in Spanish, please don't laugh at it, okay? All right, so let's record with microphone here. It's going to take you about three seconds to load up here. Hola, me llamo Paul. ¿Cómo estás? Estoy muy emocionado para hablar con la tema de Clone Wars IA. Esta aplicación es muy, muy bien porque nosotros trabajamos muy duro para que crear y para que demostrar esta aplicación. Ok. This is for, uh, this is the uh, recording. Okay, again, really bad Spanish, sorry. All right, so anyway, so when what we do here is then I can say Paul Spanish in app recording, all right? And then you can just put the language and here's the key thing. See, now I can go and we have seven different languages, of course. So you can just go and find Spanish here or whatever language you want, put the gender as male, and then you can go uh, clone here. Now, there's a key point here, okay? See this right here that I just told you, just so that it's clear, is that for better quality, for cloning of the voice, okay? cloning of the voice, speak in that language. In this particular case, I did Spanish. Let's say, for example, you have British uh, English accent or Welsh or let's say Australian English accent or whatever, you still want to speak in that language, okay? So that um, in terms of that accent, so that our voice cloning can pick up that accent and you know, basically for you to be able to use it, all right? Now, the other thing that I want to mention is about, if you go back here, go to clone voice and and you click back here. Let me show you how to upload a file, all right? To upload a file, all you need to do is just click on this upload file button. And then once you do so, you can just go in and upload, let's say in this case, Argentinian Spanish. Let's say that's something you want to do. And then you just say Argentinian Spanish all upload, whatever. It's something you can remember, all right? And then put language and then again, Spanish and that sort of thing. So in this particular case, you don't have to even pick Argentinian Spanish or whatever. Our algorithm will automatically understand whatever the Spanish it is, as long as it's speaking that language. Is that clear? And then you can just click on clone voice and it's good to go. And if it's English, if it is Hindi, if it is Italian, doesn't matter. It's the same logic. Okay. You just upload that file, good to go. Click on the clone voice and then it will start working its magic behind the scenes. So you can see here it's doing its thing. And then once it's done, it's going to say completed here. Okay. Now, once it's completed, what do we do? Okay. So as you can see here, once it's completed, you have certain choices here. See, it says uh, play button. It says uh, favorite it and it says to download it or delete it, okay? So these are the choices. So deleting it would basically uh, delete it from your list of uh, voices that you've cloned so that uh, you can clone other ones, that sort of thing. Favoriting it basically allows you to bring this uh, uh, clone voice uh, over into your favorites so that you can pick it faster when you're trying to create the audio. And also it allows you to do other cool things, uh, for example, for organizational purposes. So if you, let's say, have dozens and dozens of voices it's easier to find out which ones you favorited. Uh, that's the idea between this uh, favorite uh, right here that you select, as you can see here, what I've done. Uh, now, the other question that's commonly asked, I guess, is uh, effectively, if you go to Clone Voice, right, and you choose Instant, and the question that normally is asked of us is, okay, look, if I do a voice recording in English, 
Okay. So how do I make myself speak another language, even though I've cloned my voice in English? So that is basically the dubbing process. We're going to cover that in our other tutorials coming up so as not to confuse you too much. So as long as you want to use your native language and then you want to clone it with the highest possible quality, just make sure that you record it in that original language. So in this particular case, as I mentioned before, Australian English accent, British English accent, let's say American English accent or Indian English accent, as long as you record it with that accent originally with your voice and that sort of thing, and you upload it here, you are good. Then what will happen is that it will clone it in that accent. Similarly, if you basically record in a different language, let's say Spanish, Italian, and that sort of thing, and you want to make sure it sounds like you and has the highest possible quality, then you would want to record it in that native language. Now, in terms of actually recording it in English and being able to actually have you speak in another language, that is our voice dubbing feature that will be covered in another tutorial so that you can use that as a separate, if you will, process. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.